evening all. It's 9.30, just gone. Uh, I think mum dropped me off about 20 minutes ago, but I bought four bikes home from mum's. Uh, two that I picked up today and two that I completed work on the last time I was at mum's, actually. The two ladies' bikes, so uh, they're going to go up at some point, not sure when. If I've got time in the morning, I'll photograph them and do them in the morning. If not, that'll have to be... I yeah, don't know when. Because <laughs> uh, I'm off to catch customs trucks tomorrow. I'll take those two wheels. Um, well, I know I can get three bikes in, so I can get both her mountain bikes in. And I think so far I've managed to get together four wheels for her. There's one in the car, two here, one on the landing, and if I get time, I'll um, just have a little look in the cupboard up here. I won't get time, definitely won't have time to do cupboard up here and shed. I just haven't had a chance to look in either yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So the two new bikes I've bought upstairs. Do you want to see the first one? Uh, one I got from the recycle centre. One I paid three quid for from um, Biggles. But, uh, this is the one that came from the recycle centre. A concept K-Man or K-Man K-Man Rock, um, and it's a 24 speed. It's actually got an eight speed freewheel on the back there. Or I think it's a free wheel. I haven't actually looked. It could be a cassette. I haven't looked. I'm just assuming it's a free wheel. Could be a cassette. But um, anyway, now I was gonna pilfer a few parts off of this one to put on the bike frame I've got in the bedroom, because um, that bike frame is gonna become mine. Definitely become mine. But I decided not to. Decided to keep that blue one as it is and just fix it up. Hang on. Uh, but Biggles got this one down there the other day. And uh, he took off the parts he wanted. I do have the rear derailleur and the hanger for it. The front derailleur was knackered. Um, I think the chain was a bit rusty as well, but that's not a problem. The forks appear to be seized. But I think maybe with a bit of a service I might be able to breathe some life in there. One of these lockable ones as well, so I don't know, maybe the mechanism has got stuck or I could just drop. I have got another set of forks, so I could just drop another set in there. Uh, those wheels are mine though, I'll just put it in there to put them in there to roll it around. And because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those rims, I might use those rims in this one. I don't know, because I was tempted to pinch the ones out of the blue bike in the other room. Um, but I don't think I will, I think I'll just use these ones, they're decent enough. Make this a uh, 21 speed I think. See if I can fire some cheap rapid fire shifters on. Crank is all fine I think, yeah bottom bracket's fine. It's just a case of finding a seat post, V brakes. I don't think I will use the forks I've got. A pair of forks and all new cables. I've pretty much got everything else. I've got some tires I can chuck on it. But I just like the colour of this. I might see if I can do anything with those forks. I might require disassembling them and reassembling them. But I might try just sunking them in some WD and see if that frees them up. Uh, pardon me. Or was that a Claude Butler pinnacle? But uh, yeah, that frame would um, clean up quite nicely. I may keep it as a project for the time being, so I may just take the wheels out and uh, put it in the cupboard. But uh, it's definitely one I'll do for myself. Um, but yeah, Biggles only charged me three quid for it. 
uh, he'll make the rest of the money on um, parts that he'll sell on eBay. I think, if I remember correctly, when he got it, I had trigger shifters on it. But uh, it doesn't matter, I can get all those myself. This one's got all cables attached. There's a couple of them that have gone a little bit. There's only surface rust on these, though. But I do like the rims on this one. It'd be a shame to see them go, but. Fixed a puncture in the back tyre. Might get away with leaving the tyres on there. Front tyres stayed up. Quick release. Never seen a stem like that before. It's an interesting one. Grip shifts, 8 speed grip shift. I'll leave those bar ends on as well. I'm just going to leave it as it is and. Uh, and um, just basically put it back together. Forks work fine, aren't they? Some chunky forks. I've actually got triple clamp forks of the same brand in my um, towing bike downstairs. PS PMS. But yeah, everything's there. All the brake blocks are there. The cables are there. It's just missing a seat post and seat. Got a seat. I'm not sure I've got a seat post. I should have a clamp. I've got no, I've got one in the bag of bits down there. So uh, if we're lucky, we've I'll have one to fit that. I may even fit it that one I've got in there, but I'll have to find one for the Claude as well. And I've got a feeling they're both the same diameter. But uh, I'm gonna worry about getting this one done first. This evening's task. I've got a bike to put on eBay. I haven't done that yet. Didn't get round to doing it this morning. Um, this blue one I'll probably play with Saturday because, well, I'm out tomorrow. Um, I don't know, probably till about 6, 7 o'clock, something like that. I don't want to be too late home though. Uh, I've got a microwave I can take apart. I took one apart at Mum's. I've got the parts in that bag as well. <laughs> but, uh, I thought we could have a little gander at. I've actually got a couple of bike seats in here. Got the stand off one of the girls' bikes. Uh, I don't want to put it back on the bike because uh, it needs a clean. I'm going to see how well it's going to clean up. I don't know if it's uh, coming up, but you might be able to see all the pitting of rust and that on there. I think a majority of it will clean up if it does. I'll put this back on the bike before I put it up for sale. But uh, it's one of those that fixes through the wheel nut at the back. So as I had to take the wheel off to get it in the car, I just left that off and I haven't put it back on. The bike, uh, both the ladies' bikes are locked out front. But, yeah, <laughs> took mum's old microwave apart because it was uh, dead. It literally worked for 30 seconds before cutting out and then you'd have to uh, turn it off at the wall, turn it back on and run it again for 30 seconds. Shut up! Doing my head in tonight, pain in the ass. That's all he's done since I got in the door. Anyway, I've got the fan unit and part of the power board at the top there. I'm not actually sure if it's like a, just a smoothing board. Because it's just mains in, mains out with a choke and whatever that yellow thing is. Or I presume that's a choke, a fuse. A couple of blue, I can't remember what them type of capacitors are called. What is that yellow thing? It's like that yellow thing is a type of compa um, capacitor as well from the look of it. Yeah, C5C usually stands for capacitor. Oh, there's a resistor in there as well. That is probably a bleed resistor. To drain the um, cap out when it's uh, turned off. I couldn't pull the um, connectors off for the live and neutral in and out. So I just cut the wires. I couldn't be asked to try and pull them off. What else did I get? I've got a couple of... Um, pressure switches and the main control board I've got the um, better idea Hang on. Oh, 
Come here, you bastard. There we go. There. And I want to see what I'm doing, and you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this is the main control board. It was a digital one. So I expect there's an issue with this for it to keep cutting out after 30 seconds or so. I say that because it may not be an exact 30 seconds, as Mum was prob probably estimating. But there's literally seven buttons. Got three there, three in this row, one here, and then you've got that dial. I believe um, set the clock at the top there, which I might actually take off. And then again, looking at all those solid wires, I may not. <laughs> um, I can't see anything obvious on this. There's a a broken relay there. I pulled on the wires and accidentally broke it, and there's probably the remains of another one somewhere. I think it was in there. Because I pulled that off as well. No, it's here. You see it? This one survived though, so I may actually pinch that relay off of there as it survived. <laughs> two diodes there, two diodes there. They're not in a bridge rectifier format though. Although these four here seem to be, so they could be a bridge rectifier. Possibly. Eh, there's not a lot on here. There's a little controller chip or something there probably for the timer as it's up there uh, controller for that probably bunch of transistors little piezo buzzer bunch of resistors across there Ooh, that just some several little uh, ceramic caps and a few electrolytics mains plug of some sort there is there actually anything mounted on this side no, they don't appear to be, apart from the switches and the controls. That seems to be it. There's no, no, there's no surface mount or anything in here. It's all through hole. No, sorry, apart from the switches, they're surface. I'd still take those off if I really wanted to. You only salvage that just to <laughs> salvage some bits and bobs off of it. What else? Got no idea what this is, but that was coming with mains in. That was bolted in the microwave that way, so this one's mains in, that's mains out, and I just no idea what that little device is. Oops. It was just seemed interesting, I don't know, some power transistor or something, amplifier, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, and I got this big boy as well. That's one big ass capacitor with, I actually thought they were diodes at first, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're bleed resistors on there. Possibly. Or very large diodes as one's got a stripe on one end, I don't know. I'll have to get the magnifier glass open. There is actually a warning on the inside of this that says um, you should discharge this and obviously turn off at the mains before servicing. Because uh, yeah, I bet this would uh, give you one hell of a whack. I certainly wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. Uh, especially as it go, it's um, rated at 2100 volts AC. Yeah, and if it's charged up to that, I do not want a 2,000 volt shock, thank you. <laughs> I bet I could charge it up and have some fun with it, though. <laughs> Got some bicycle parts. It's a bit rough there, but that'll do it. Get me out of a muddle. <laughs> and there's this one, which is actually a good saddle. Um... I think I'll sell my full suspension bike. I'm not sure, but I was going to put that on there. Yeah, it's just a bunch of bike spares. Eh? There's the um, interior lamp out of the microwave. I thought the lamp holder might be good. And there's one of the pressure switches or momentary switch. Used to use these in shower pressure switches when I used to put them together years ago. You know, when I had a factory job. Boring as fucking hell. 
but it paid. <laughs> I suppose that's the, was the only good thing about working in a on an assembly line like that. It paid. But, um, well, it would have been even more boring if we didn't have a radio on. Yeah, I just assembled the pressure switches for uh, um, showers and whatnot, electric showers. Right, I'm actually going to bring up tubes of you. Then I'm going to bring up not Gumtree eBay because I've paid my fees. I can list. Well, actually, I suppose before I list that, I ought to see if I've got any emails of anyone interested in it from Gumtree. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not holding my hopes up. Get that fucking coke bottle out of my way. I'll put that in the fridge and I can stick that on my bike. Awards alert. No, that's spam. That's alright, you just let all the mail that I don't want into my inbox and just spam all the mail I do want. Yeah, that's a really awesome way of filtering Yahoo. Mm. Toss spots. I don't know why f Yahoo does that, but it pisses me off. Every reply I get on Gumtree... Twelve seventeen. This is so 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 tempting, but I'd be spending every penny I have, so I don't think so. Ends at twelve. I think it might have ended anyway. Did it end? Uh, da, 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 da. Winning bid forty quid. Yes, someone bid on it then. Oh well, plenty more on here. I'll just keep my eyes open. Bloody hell, someone wants 20 quid just for the instructions. Ow. Oh. That's a nice one for 50 quid. AirTech Claw Rig. It's another one with a um, couple of pneumatic rams on it from the look of it. Made once and displayed in very good condition. Has been dismantled. No box but instructions. Instructions are okay, but a bit tatty due to age. Hmm. Twenty quid to post it, yeah, and you can fucking sit on that and spin because I know it's not going to cost that. I know people like to um, add a little bit extra on P and P, you know, for their time and whatnot. But twenty quid takes the fucking piss. It would cost a five of tops through a courier, if that, probably less than that. I don't weigh anything. It'll be a one to two kilogram parcel and that would be less than five pounds through my Hermes, so I can sit on that fucker and spin. Still got that one here for 39 quid. Excellent condition. I'm surprised this one hasn't actually. Is that the one that had broken parts? Yeah, the alternative model not built. Built only a couple of times, never play any questions, please. Ask. Many more LEGO sets to come, including Star Wars and Technic. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. It's two days left, so I'll have to see what I can get together in two days. If not, not the end of the world. I'm surprised the shuttle launching crew hasn't got bids on it yet. La -da -da -da. Oh, help me. Right, I'll close that one, I'll close that one. Mr. Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. It's in the news today that um, Ronnie Corbett has passed away. May he rest in peace. And he was one of the um, two Ronnies, very good British comedians back in the day. 
the hell was I looking for after that distracted me? Netflix. Fuck. Just clicked on eBay again. <laughs> just as I went to click on Netflix, my hand jerked and moved the mouse. I've still got the photo on the desktop, haven't I? Yeah. That's good. Click on sell. I'm surprised it hasn't sold on Gumtree. Yeah, excuse me. Because um, I had a look this morning and it's had it over 60 views. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty surprised. Get off. I cannot move the mouse while you're sitting on the poxy thing. I'm watching you. Ouch. Oh, I suppose I can kick me boots off now. <sighs> Ooh, what an exciting day tomorrow. Be nice to get out of the flat, actually. Instead of uh, being cooped up in here. Uh, she'll have her bikes at least, and I'll have a bit more room out back. And hopefully the other two ladies' bikes won't be hanging around for long either, because uh, they can do a space. Well, plenty of room at Mum's. But the uh, only trouble is I can't really sell them when they're over there, because I'm here. <laughs> oh well. So, yeah, that's why I bring... Any bikes I fixed at Mum's, that's why I bring them here. So I can basically clean them down, because I do need to clean down, because I've collected dust where they've been in the workshop, and uh, get them up for sale. So that's going to be Saturday's job. Oh, <laughs> he's looking at me so pissed off. Me. Such an easy going cat he is. Scritchy. Oh my god. The hell am I yawning for? See your accent as an imperfection, that's what makes you you. Nuts. <laughs> right. Don't know when I'm next going over to Mum's, so don't know when I'll be taking another trip to the recycle centre. Oof. So, I don't know if that's coming up on film, so I don't know if it's actually a dirty lens or a dirty screen or a mix of both. Can't see no dirt on the actual lens. I know the screen on this is dirty.
The Rick Lax video. Everyone has someone special in their lives who isn't quite right in the head. Yep. Sorry, scrolling through. <laughs> Shouldn't do that because I get distracted. <sighs> oh, got a pump bracket on this one. Now the bottom bracket bearings are going to need um, adjusting or something. There's some marks on the front. Some red shit or something all over this. I've just noticed. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, it's copper grease. That's what it is. It's uh, there <laughs> and down there. And a dead leaf. <laughs> There's some marks on here where the cables have been and rubbed. That's probably one of the biggest asses of having the cables up there. They're more likely, you know, when you get one off your bike to do that. Or if you're sitting and talking to friends, I know some slide off the seat and stand there so I can get it rubs the cables again. But uh, should you have a sticky gear cable though, you can just uh, yank up on the cable. That's what I used to do. <laughs> oh, it's ten o'clock. I've really been yapping that long. Yep, nearly half an hour. Yeah, these are nice bar ends. I'm gonna leave these ones on. Yeah, writing's worn a little bit, but you can pretty much leave it as is. Just whack this, a seat post and seat on it. Uh, might need a back tyre on that, that's a bit bald. I can get away with the front one though. I'm actually getting short on tyres. I'll find one. I'll find one. I haven't even got any spare tyres at all for 26 inch wheels at Mum's. Not one. Uh, so, unfortunately, I can't supply tyres with these wheels, but if Cat wants some, I can get them for her. It's not a problem. I just haven't got them right this minute. I wish I did because I am in need of some. I've got a pair that I want to reserve. Maybe. <laughs> for the Claude Butler in the bedroom. I don't know. I might. I've got Colossus written down there. Shimano Altus Duralias. I've got Shimano out. Once my knee just popped. Oh, bitch. Didn't know Concept uh, did bikes this sort of uh, upper class, so to speak. I thought they were, um, well, they used to be a um, budget bike, but this looks, uh, well, I suppose in a sense, you'd call it a budget 24 speed, I suppose. Well, those grip shifts are actually quite nice. I like these. 
couldn't believe it when I looked at that's when I realised it was a 24 speed because I saw 8 on here and I was like hang on a minute and I counted the wheel to make sure it had an 8 speed free wheel or cassette and yes it does so these are definitely the original wheels it's just someone's nicked the seat post to clamp and seat out of it and uh, got rid of it for some reason I think they're mad it needs a clean it really isn't. I think that frame is going to clean up quite well, to be honest. Obviously, I can't get rid of the scratches unless I decide to tea cut the frame. I could probably get some out. In fact, I could try that. I have got a bottle up here somewhere. Yeah, it's hiding in amongst the Lego models. Don't ask, don't know. That's just where I stuck it. Hmm. Should we have a, one last look at Claude 2? C2, I'll call him C2, C1 and C2. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of that mud guard. I'll definitely see if I can uh, unseize the front forks. But uh, I was definitely going to get a um, good old clean up. Well, it's still rideable with the forks as it is, There's, it'll just be a rigid frame. <laughs> so I could. Just leave the forks as is until I find something preferably black in colour that I can uh, put in here to replace them. And I think, even though this has got a threaded steerer tube, looking at the size, I could put threadless in there so I could convert it. What's it got written there? Alloy 6061 Performance Series. What are these different numbers they have on alloy frames? Does anyone know? It's got the bolts missing for the um, bottle cages and whatnot. You need to put two bottle cages on here. You could put one of them little pump brackets on there. I could do that. I do have one. Um, I have been looking for a bike suitable to put my panniers on. So that might be what I'll use that one for. I don't know, I just really like Claude Butler bikes. I've either been a Claude Butler fan or a Saracen fan. Um, no, I'd say I'm actually more of a Claude Butler fan. I mean, this one's nice, and I was tempted to keep it, but then uh, Biggles offered me the one in the bedroom <laughs> um, before... Well, he gave me first dibs, basically, because he was going to put it on eBay. So I just took him up on first dibs. He probably would have got a lot for it on eBay anyway. That actually reminds me quickly before I disappear. I've got that sort of creamy-coloured giant frame in the... Um, upstairs closet up here on the uh, landing I might stick that on eBay because I don't think I'll ever do anything with it and if I can get a couple of quid for it on eBay I don't mind uh, wrapping it in some bubble wrap and some black bags or something or cardboard to ship it out via a courier so yeah not a problem not a problem Anyway, I'm going to disappear so I can chill out for this evening for a little while. Kick my boots off. Why are you looking at me like that, Nemo? <laughs> oh, you've been and had something to eat. I can tell because you're licking your chops. Anyway, I'm going to try and... Oh, shit, I don't know what... I do apologise about that. I didn't realise the camera was sort of pointing up there somewhere. Nice view of the ceiling. That's not the view you want to be looking at, but... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I was too busy uh, concentrating on the cat. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And as I always say, don't forget to uh, like, comment and subscribe. And thanks in advance to those that do. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.